You are now watching this grief live. Yeah, yeah. Short King, and now I'm a part of the Six Foot Club. And I spent $100,000 on limb lengthening surgery. They break your bones surgically, they cut them and they attach devices. They break your bones surgically, they cut them and they attach devices that extend the bones over time. The world is a much different place now that I'm taller. When I first did the surgery, people said they hope I never walk again. But Dang. as it grew, it actually started to garner a lot of attention from women. I thought we were on the first day, you're impressing me. No, I'm not. You're impressing me. Attention from women. Oh, he did this for women. Life is hard, chat. You gotta spend a hundred thousand, break your legs to get some unana. I thought we were on the first day. You're impressing me. No, I'm not. You're impressing me. I'm saying you impressing me. He spent a hundred thousand so he could act like a bad. <laughs> That's what you gotta do. I'm Denzel Siggers. I'm 27 years old and I spent $100,000 on limb lengthening surgery. So the surgery day, they put me under anesthesia so I was asleep. They break your bones surgically. They cut them and they attach devices I that extend died. the bones over time. When I first woke up, I just asked myself a million and one questions. I was like, why did I do this surgery? I regretted it. I shouldn't have done it. I'm in so much pain. I've never felt this kind of pain before. And is it really worth it? And I thought something was wrong because I didn't think it was normal to feel this amount of pain. There's a metal rod in my leg. And then there was an external fixator that attaches to the metal rod going through your leg. So you have both an internal device and an external device. It was very shocking. It felt unreal to see it attach myself because I had never seen anything like this before. Yeah. I was actually in a relationship prior to the surgery. Okay. Once I told her I wanted to go get surgery, get taller to boost my confidence, she was completely against it. And inevitably we end up ending a relationship. Ay, ay, ay. I love how he's playing this story as if they just they just happened to break up because they didn't see eye to eye on the surgery. Nah, the eye to eye was now that you taller than her. You want to test out the open market. He think he's slick. We see your game player. Even though she was someone that made a lot of jokes about my height herself. So she hasn't seen me, but she's just seen like my social media and she's been trying to call. She's been trying to make her way back, but. Oh, here we go. She missing out on the longer legs. <laughs> She missing out. That's somewhere I don't want to go back to. It was a toxic environment, okay. Media, and she's been trying to call. She's been trying to make her way back, but that's somewhere I don't want to go back to. Today, I'm actually going on a date for the first time since I've had my surgery. <laughs> this man wobbling back and forth. No. <laughs> no way. They're going on a date for the first time. Look at him. Since I've had my surgery. So it'll be my first date at six foot. I'm very excited. This is an opportunity to get out there and really fill out this new version of me, like see how he interacts with the world, see how he- He, it's you! Wait, now he a whole different persona now that he got new legs. Get out there and really fill out this new version of me, like see how he interacts with the world, see how he interacts on a date. In the world we live in, we say don't judge a book by its cover, but obviously people are judged off their appearance first. But I do feel like once I get back into dating, my personality will be what carries me in a relationship. Is this a Hello. new date? Hello, how you doing? How you doing? Come on. You better hug me too, huh? Mm, let's see his riz, cause that, oh my goodness, that walk. Tell me about yourself, what's your social? My social? Yeah. My, my social media? No, your social security. My social security. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted new legs so he could tell that joke. I need a timeout. This man said I needed to do leg reconstruction surgery so more women can meet my personality. <laughs> In the first fucking demo we get at his personality. What's your social? <laughs> Oh my God, bro. <laughs> oh my God, he is silly, man. This is funny. You a scammer? 
I didn't say that. Are you just I was just funny? trying to get to know you. Oh. So. What you was trying to do with my social? Oh, you trying to put a ring on it that fast? Yeah. I'm going to get your little crazy ass up out of here, man. I didn't know you was that type of guy. I like that. I have to say my last relationship was two years ago. I got high standards and a lot of requirements. I think you found it. Really? Okay, why haven't I been on a dating scene? I've been very busy. I'm but sure. most recently, in the last six months, as you know, I went underwent limb lengthening surgery. Mm -hmm. So. What was that experience like? Probably one of the hardest things I've ever done. Conversation was very good. I could see like us going on a few more dates, there getting to go. know each other a lot more. He's gonna call me for sure. It's actually a very fun first date. I didn't expect to have as much fun as I did. I thought it would be a little bit more nerves or something, but everything went great. It was a very fun time, very beautiful girl. It was nice to step out in the world with a lot more confidence than before. Yeah. Be a lot more sure of yourself and not wonder what she's thinking, but really just be who you are. Yeah, I'm glad he could be who he is now. That's all that matters. It is yeah. much easier to reach things that I, I struggled with before. Yeah, the his, world arm, is a his arm proportions is a little off. He got shorter arms than his lower body. That's what that's what's throwing me off mentally, his little arms compared to the league. The world is a much different place now that I'm taller. Uh, people smile at me everywhere I go. I've never had this kind of like reaction from people before, and I really enjoy it. I've always been very unhappy with my height pretty much my entire life. I realized I was short around 15 years old, okay. and ever since then, it's kind of weighed on me. I tried a lot of different things to make me taller or at least appear taller, such as spinal decompression, put insoles in my shoes, inversion tables. What? It would only give me about an inch more. As far as my recovery process, I work out every day. I'm just restricted in some of my abilities, like squatting. Yeah. Recovery takes about six months to a year. I'm much further ahead at my current stage than most people would be. It's only been about two and a half months since I completed yeah, surgery. Yeah, he locked in. I can pretty much do everything that I need to do for the most part on a normal day-to-day -day basis. Nice. So I'm very pleased with where I'm at. The surgery has significantly boosted my self-esteem mainly because everything I had to go through to get the height, so I appreciate it more. But just being home and seeing how the world reacts to me at six foot rather than five five has been like a very amazing experience for me. I've always been like an outgoing person, but now I can just be myself without caring what people think or what people have to say. There I'm you me go. all the time now, rather than hiding behind like insecurities. He in his bag now. My boy. What's up, man? What happened to him? Uh, did he do it oh, too? It, How did you meet Brian? We was getting the same surgery in Turkey together. We met in the physiotherapy. Brian, how tall were you before the surgery? Uh, I was 183, so just basically uh, six foot. And how tall are you now? It's gonna be over six, six, six right now. Nice. <laughs> this man went from six foot to six, six. That's just greedy. <laughs> That's just greedy, at least. <laughs> this man just wanted to be greedy with his big ass. What did you need to be even bigger than what you were for? One thing that's kind of hard for me is I'm just barely now getting into the phase where I'm in a walker. You're already at the walking in the system phase. For me, I will honestly have to tell you that it's really just being patient, but at the same time, trusting yourself because since you haven't walked Get in it, so, so long, and it gets, you're nervous to walk. Whenever I'm scared, I just tell myself, just trust myself, everything is gonna be okay. My father had the worst reaction. He just didn't understand why I would do something like this to myself. He's actually been avoiding me since I've oh, returned wow. home because he thinks I'm taller than him now, but my mother has been He said his dad been avoiding him because he think he taller. <laughs> I don't even understand that. Extremely supportive. My brothers have been very supportive. They're very excited that I got surgery and it's something that's changed my life overall. So initially when I first did the surgery and I started posting it, it was a lot of like negativity, a lot of hate. People called me crazy, people called me insane. They said they hope I never walk again. But 
as it grew and people saw me continue to post my progress, a lot of the comments began to change. It actually started to garner a lot of attention from women telling me like how strong I am and how manly it was to go through something that like endure so much pain. There you go. I want people to take away from this is not even just hype, but I say do the things that make you happy. Don't care what other people think because people will judge you no matter what you do in life. So just do what makes you happy. Recovery is taking longer than I realized it would, but I have no regrets. Like anything you want in life. It oh, that's scaring me. He locking knees. Oh, that's scary to look at right there. The way he locking his knee on that and his bones is already broken. That's scary. It comes with a certain price. It comes with hard work. But once I fully recover, I'll be able to enjoy the full benefits of my new hype. I would personally not recommend it to just anyone. This is something that takes a lot of mental fortitude because there are so many nights that I wanted to quit. So I say come as mentally strong as you can. It's more mental than it is physical. If I could go back in time, I would absolutely do it again, without a shadow of a doubt. That was a weird video, but I'm glad he happy now. I'm glad he happy now, man. He locked in and got right for the summer, chat. Y'all can't. Y'all can't. Mm -mm -mm. How the other guy six foot wanted to be six four? No, he went six six on them dummies. He went he went prom NBA players. He Anthony Edwards height now. Lace up. It's time to get on the court. But his legs broken, so he really can't. But that's life.